CD-ROM installation. This is the CD-ROM drive. Now to access the CD-ROM drive with more ease, then remove the top bar from the frame. Again, there are the two screws to remove. Once that is removed, you will have easy access to the cables on the CD-ROM. In this scenario, the CD-ROM is already fitted into the frame for you by several screws held on by other pieces of equipment. All you need to do is fit the cables into the back of the CD-ROM drive. There is an IDE cable, a power cable and an audio cable. You will notice on the IDE cable there is a groove which will only fit in one way into the socket. Align the groove foot with the shape of the socket and push in very gently making sure that it goes in all the way without bending any of the pins. Secondly, find the power cable. Again, this can only go in one way up due to the shape of the plug. And finally, the audio cable slots in with a clip facing upwards. If you are unsure what which is where, the power goes into the power, the IDE goes into the host interface, and the audio cable goes into the analog audio port.